Hi and welcome back. If you've been following my series of different types of uh, firearms and pistols uh, I have here on YouTube, uh, thank you very much. Well, today we're going to show you uh, just a little something a little bit different. I'd like to show you some authentic World War II ammunition. So to get things started, I'm going to start off with the uh, rifle cartridges that would go into the M1 carbine. Uh, this is a U.S. rifle. Uh, these are the cartridges, the 30 carbine caliber. There's 10 rounds to a clip, and uh, each clip would be fed into a magazine. Uh, magazines held from 10, 15, 20, or even 30 round uh, magazines. Uh, next one, I have another U.S. Um, uh, ammunition. This is a 30 odd 6. This would be fired in the M1 Garand. Uh, there are eight cartridges on each clip. Uh, the rifle is clip fed. In other words, this whole clip would be inserted into the rifle, and uh, after the last round would be fired, the clip would be come flying out, and the uh, the slide would be uh, locked so that the soldier could feed in another eight round clip. The next one I'd like to show you comes from the United Kingdom. This is World War II ammunition in 303 British caliber. Uh, this would be uh, used in their Lee Enfield rifles. Uh, millions of these were made, millions of the Enfield rifles were made, and tens of millions of rounds of ammunition would have been made, manufactured, and used during World War II. Once again, authentic World War II uh, 303 British uh, Lee Enfield ammunition. Uh, moving right along, I'd like to show you something from uh, Germany. This is an authentic clip for the Mauser, the 98K. This is 8mm Mauser uh, ammunition, World War II vintage, authentic uh, ammunition and clip, both authentic. And um, this would be used in the 98K. Um, I also have a box of the ammunition, the way it came from the factory. This would be distributed among the soldiers. I don't know if you can read that or even see that label on there. But there are three clips in here, five rounds on each, or a total of 15 rounds of ammunition. Along the same lines, if you watched my video on the uh, Luger uh, pistol, I showed you uh, this box of 9mm ammunition for the Luger pistol. Authentic Unopened seal is still intact, made in the mid 1940s. The use of the German soldier uh, in the 9mm uh, handguns. Very, very difficult, very rare to obtain. Uh, moving on now, I'd like to show you uh, some Russian ammunition. This is from the uh, Mosin Nagant rifle, the caliber 7.62 by 54R. Um, the Mosin uh, Nagant rifle, uh, one of the standard uh, rifles of the Russian Russian soldier during World War II, uh, authentic ammunition and clip. Uh, by the way, I may have forgot to tell you that all this ammunition that I have is live. It will fire if inserted into a rifle, and uh, in case the need ever came up, uh, I'm good to go. Okay, moving uh, now to the Far East. This is some very rare ammunition from Japan. This is for the uh, Arasaka, I always have trouble pronouncing that, Arasaka rifle. It's a 7.7 .7 millimeter ammunition. Uh, extremely rare. And what makes this even rarer is the fact that this came and was brought back by a soldier in the Battle of Tur. hope I pronounce this correctly, Tura, Tura, <coughs> try this again, the Battle of Tarawa. Here we go. Tarawa. I have a certificate from the owner of this uh, describing it that it was bring back from the, that battle on that island off the Japanese coast during World War II, and uh, it was in November of 1943, as a matter of fact. 7.7 millimeter Japanese. Another Japanese uh, ammunition, also for an Arasaka rifle. This is for the Type 38 Arasaka. The other rifle was the Type 99. Different rifle, different caliber. This is a 6.5 millimeter 
ammunition. Really, really difficult to obtain a clip and the ammunition. Um, they just just none around after the war. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to uh, find this, and you buy, sell, swap, buy up with people on the internet, and you come across things and items that you would need. Uh, to show you what it would look like, issued to the Japanese soldiers would be in this box. There are three clips in this box, five rounds on a clip. So let me get a little closer here if you can see it, with Japanese markings on it, and a uh, total of 15 rounds. This is not authentic. This is a replica. The ammunition inside the box is not authentic. I never opened it. Uh, this is just part of my collection to show folks uh, what uh, the packaging would look like during World War II. Well, that about sums it up for my uh, ammunition uh, from World War II. I hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I enjoyed uh, presenting it to you. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing my videos, especially for your kind comments. Once again, as I leave you, as I always do, please practice safe shooting. Remember, safe shooting is no accident. Thanks for stopping by.